Hi Aries and welcome to your bonus read for the day. I hope all of you are well. Thank you for tuning in. So let's see what's coming up here in your tarot message. I hope all of you are fantastic. Keep in mind there is a lunar eclipse on Monday in Libra. I have a video about that. The moon is intensified emotions in the house of peaceful fairness and partnership. Okay, so let's see what we have here. Show us Aries, <laughs> the Temperance, the Queen of Swords, and the Six of Cups. Somebody might not be that nice. Like, it could be some critical person. Um... But you have fond memories of the situation. Like there might be someone who gives you a critique. Hmm. Five of Wands. The Queen of Wands. Okay. You know you can take your power back here. You don't have to sit and reminisce. Um, you can pick up the wand and you can get started on something. You don't have to just reminisce. I actually had this thought today, like I'm gonna make more of a conscious effort to be op optimistic like not just focus on the memory of something not working so we have the hangman protects you from liars evil spells bad spirits you're meant to be suspended in air something's not meant to go forward just yet You're a page of swords. You're curious. You have questions. You want to know why. Your mind is curious. It's like you could ask. Seven of Pentacles again for the environment. I got that before. It says here the deliverance. Being delivered. I know it's like building an empire, investing in real things. If something's not being given to you, you're being told to wait. Because you want Knight of Wands. You want Sagittarius energy. You want to get up and go. Hmm. I feel like you're being protected from this Five of Wands over here. When's a, gut, a judgment? Six of Pentacles. <laughs> I got this earlier or yesterday. So the Six of Pentacles, Divine Grace, cures rage, absolves the guilty, absolves rage and pestilence. So it's also like receiving a gift, receiving um, something's not taken away from you, something's given to you. Look at the Empress falling out here. Divine Feminine, Fruitfulness. This is the Empress. It's about um, having abundant fruitfulness. Okay, I split the deck and got a Nine of Swords and Nine of Wands. There may have been something that you have been trying really hard to do. And it's like maybe you feel like you're pushing a rock up a hill. A boulder up a hill. Because you want Knight of Wands. You are a Page of Swords and someone here is 
considering what they have and they don't really have they do have some they don't have a full amount discernment general prosperity deliverance so what is the hangman show us the hangman there it is ooh the devil okay Samael, you're meant to be sort of not engaged in this situation. Seduction, something that could lead to downfall. The hangman prevents you from going forward. It says divine desire for knowledge, protecting you from liars, evil spirits, bad spirits. Um, okay, so... You're being protected from something that you're not meant to, that's not good for, for your highest good. So even though your Page of Swords, you're like, why? Asking questions. Like, to me, the Page of Swords asks why. What's Aries energy here today? Uh, you have a supporter. You have a Two of Cups. You have someone who's an ally, a friend, a supporter. Um, intelligence giving you the grace of God. Okay. So to me, Two of Cups is mutual. Like you feel the same way. They feel very power strongly. You feel very strongly. Bottom of the deck, we have the Emperor. Interesting. Something here, like, could have been meant to take you down. Like, I just was thinking that, like, taking you down. Like, I'm going to take the, her down or take him down. And um, so what do we have here as the Six of Cups? Why is that here? Memories and nostalgia. Page of Pentacles. Okay. Horus, Capricorn, Virgo, messages about something new coming in, loyalty, allegiance, friendship. Why is on your mind that you want to be the Queen of Wands? The Queen of Cups, water sign, protecting you against enemies. Could be any Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Okay, so we know the Page of Swords is here. You do have a Two of Water, so your feelings are strong. Um, refuge. Revealing a mystery, hidden. Okay. So the outcome is receiving a pentacle, being included, being absolved. Um, and the Empress, a person of great value, having great value. The Page of the Pentacles, adventurous. It's really delivering you a message about an upcoming situation. What is the Seven of Pentacles here around Aries? Why is it here? Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? The Eight. Providing knowledge, gaining knowledge, learning, developing. What's the outcome about here? With the Six of Pentacles and the Empress? The 10. I was just going to say, well, if this person has a 7 and an 8, and you have a 6, I was thinking, well, what's that going to benefit them? They are trying to learn. They're trying to gather knowledge, gather information, find something real, use that to learn. 
Oh, we have the Hierophant and a 10. So the Hierophant represents divine order. Um, favor, friendship, uh, tradition, um, ethical, inner and outer work. It's a completion, protecting you, protection against a disaster. So the Hierophant steps in. It could be anything like the government. It can be um, human resources, something where you know, the right thing to do is being given to you. So it's like, if somebody here was trying to argue with you, fight with you, five of wands, devil, hangman comes in and puts it into perspective and says, we're not going to move forward on that. We're just going to wait. We're not going to move forward on that. We're going to look at what we have, look at the, our, day, our paperwork, our documents. And then you find out about a 10 that also gives you a pentacle. So why does this come in as a 10 of pentacles? The ace. So this is that image of the angel that they say is in the Bible, like it's supposed to look like that. Um, driving away evil. A divine blessing. Okay, hangman to the devil. That's a good thing. We don't want that kind of energy to like go forward. I mean... Samael used to be the right hand of God. It was like the most favored. But then there was the argument or the issue over pride and ego. Um, seduction and downfall. Yeah, this is going into like a pause. Why is the devil here with the hangman? Like, why is that happening that way? We know there's a five of wands in the past. There's something where maybe something was highly desired. The nine of cups. Your wish comes true. God, the kindest giver. Healing, preserving health, curing disease. Nine of cups It has to do with the way you feel on the inside. And it's really positive really happy so you're receiving a very important gift it looks like um, two of cups is your energy you off you have very strong feelings someone has those very strong feelings returned to you um, Why is the Page of Pentacles here with the Six? Why do you have memories about a situation? The truth. Okay, new new information. You're going to find out something new. Friendship. Um, Ace of Swords. Gives you clarity. Um, it's something new, a new idea. It's something new for you to think about. It could be something you didn't know. It could come out of the clear blue sky. Queen of Water, Queen of Wands, the devil goes into a hangman, and you are Nine of Cups. Why is the person trying to develop something here? Seven and an Eight. The Ace of Fire. They're either inspired or triggered. Um, protects you against despair. I know the Ace of Wands fire also protects you against boredom. Because if you don't have anything exciting in your life, this person could be bored. They have nothing else to do but develop, look at something. 
it almost looks like paperwork like somebody's looking at paperwork um you're getting here what you wanted it's a favorable decision and that's what i have 